It has everything. Bumping in, banging in. <laughs> Big Boys hey, Neighborhood, boy. man, it is my pleasure to have the legendary Danny Trejo up in here, man. First off, we got to say welcome back. Thank you. How you doing, OG? You good? I'm blessed, man. Everything. Blessed every day. Let me tell you, Danny Trejo, man. You one of those cats that everybody loves you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about I'm talking about all shades, all ages, Hell. whatever side of the law, the hood, whatever it is, <laughs> everybody loves Danny Trejo, man. What do you think that is, bro? My kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. I, I did that movie Spy Kids. They all love it. <laughs> but you know what it is, man? It's, it's like every like there's a piece of you that everybody can grab onto. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You feel like the uncle. You feel like the neighbor. You feel like the big brother. You feel you know what I'm saying? You feel like the friend. And it seemed like everybody, even even when you play crazy ass characters, <laughs> people say you're the nicest person to work with. Also, bro. Yeah. Well, you know it's like uh. What is it? Like they say, a whole world can think you're a movie star, but you can't. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. Now, we, we got to just talk about this, man. Like, how did Danny Trejo get into movies? You got you got to explain this story to us, man. You know what? I, I was a drug counselor, all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I was I was uh, trying to be an a extra on a movie called Runaway Train. Mm -hmm. And one night, this kid called me up and said, hey, Will you please come down here, man? I'm having a little trouble trying to stay clean. You know, I worked for a place called Western Pacific over in in, in uh, Glendale. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we detox drug addicts. So, yeah, yeah. So I went down to just kind of like. Like was, something you would yeah, do anyway. Yeah, I was going to, you know, and, 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 and uh, man, that night a, a, a friend of mine named Eddie Bunker that I was in the pen with said, uh, what are you doing here? I said, yeah. Hanging out with this kid today, man. He said, uh, you know, are you still boxing? He's still boxing the joint. I heard that. I said, I'm training. You know, he says, you know what? We need somebody to train one of the actors how to box. And he said, I said, well, what's it pay? And he said, uh, 320 a day. You're like, man. I said, damn, how bad you want this guy beat up? Right. <laughs> right. 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 Like, is this legal? Like, right. and, then, and then how many days you want me to beat him up? Like, right. Said, like, three, three, 320. Like, take, take 20 minutes to beat him up. <laughs> you know? And he goes, no, no, you got this actor's real high strung. He might sock you. And said, for 320 bucks, give him a stick. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've been beat up for free. Like, right? yeah, hell yeah. So he started training an actor named Eric Roberts how to box for a movie, Runaway Train. And the director saw me and saw that me and Eric got along. So I'll never forget Andre Kajalowski says, Russian, right? Mm -hmm. You be in movie. <laughs> you fight Eric in movie. When he said that, Everybody jumped up and said, he's not sag. I'll never oh, forget. Oh, like the haters. Like, uh, Andre, he's not even part of the deal. Wait, Andre, go Andre goes, make him sag. He's like, make him sag. And then he goes right back talking to me. And he talked like this. He talked like, Danny, you'll be in movie. He like whisper. I said, okay. And then I'll never forget. He says, you fight Eric in movie. I said, okay. And then he leans over and he kisses me on one cheek, mm -hmm. kisses me on the other cheek, walks away. And I, I told Eddie, uh. Eddie, look, I'm gonna train the kid for 320, but if I'm gonna be kissing that old man, I want more money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, man. Don't you know I'm a, I've been off the yard, man? You'll be kissing me all on my face, Jack. <laughs> now, how much? Oh, okay. All right. and, uh, so, does that start the acting bug it. for you? And that's that how it happened. It, that's I, I God calling, bro. Oh, you telling me and from there? <laughs> like, you didn't know this. Yes, you walk in. <laughs> the stunt coordinator offered me a job because I could follow direction and following. But the next five years, I played like. Inmate number one. Right, right, right. Me, yeah. Cholo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you get your breakdown sheet like, all right, okay. Cholo with scar on neck. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. Hey, I, I, I thought I had a career. I didn't know. So I never, the first right. time, I never forget the first time I got, I got interviewed. It was by some young lady that fresh out of interview school, and, you know, and she said, "Danny, aren't you afraid of being typecast?" And I said, uh, "As what?" And she says, well, you're always playing the mean Chicano dude with tattoos. <laughs> I thought about it. I am the mean Chicano dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll play that all day uh, long. You, like, I don't think you can play a light-skinned black lady <laughs> for too long. You know what I'm saying? You probably get one shot at it, Danny. And wait, the funny part, the first role I ever got that I actually had a name, 
I played an Italian dude. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, Tony, come on in here. Like, all right. Uh, I was Art Sanella. Like, 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 I guess so. Like, now you got to be the Italian actor <laughs> just to okay. get roles. Yeah. Man. And so I went, you know, I was just, but the first five years, that's I was just inmate number one. And then after that, I just started, boom. I was just kind of, after Death Wish 4 with yeah. Charles Bronson. Oh, my god! from there, it was like on. It was on, you know. Man, blood out. Y'all yeah, oh, stick with a man. Like, <laughs> just credit wise, it'd take us probably six, seven days to just run through the credits. Yeah, I think IMDb has been at 130 something right That's now. crazy. That's you and Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, <laughs> you know what I, did, I did a movie with Samuel Jackson way back in the day. It was called uh, Against the Wall, Attica Against the Wall. Oh, hell. You know, and uh, uh, we did it with, uh, oh, God, the director was, oh, Brilliant At that direction. moment, y'all don't even know how no, well no. y'all gonna go. Uh -oh. though. No, this was a long time. We were in penitentiary. We were in we were in uh, Tennessee State Penitentiary, and it was an old closed penitentiary. It was haunted. It oh was man, haunted as hell. I'm <laughs> and you, you you looking at the sides? It has uh, inmate number one, <laughs> Latino, Mexican, and then he then Sam was like inmate number <laughs> two, <laughs> black guy. Like, man, I'm telling you, man, we gonna blow up though. <laughs> we gonna blow up. There's some things that you can see somebody else, right? Yeah. And we'd look and we'd say, man, look at this old Danny Trejo looking up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because there is a look also to Danny Trejo. Yeah. Danny Trejo, I think from the giddy up, I've always seen you with long hair or a ponytail. Yeah. Would you ever cut your hair? For it, I don't want to say for any reason, but do you ever just like think like, man, I I, I just want to cut it? Yeah. Well, when Robert Rodriguez tells me we're not going to make machete anymore, machete. I will cut my hair. Really though, no. <laughs> hey man, now just going into machete, I'm pretty sure you'll go somewhere and people probably just say yeah. machete. Oh, uh, uh, my mama used to call me machete. Machete. Call me machete. You're right, mom, I'm Danny. But Come on, him. People drive by my house. Hey, machete. You so. Uh, Man, is that a not a gift and a curse? I'm pretty sure that's just got to be it's a smooth funny. gift. I love it. You know, yeah, that's like, dope. Uh, and with, with Robert, man, those movies be so over the top. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> like, well, I'd rather be called Machete than Marsha Brady. So. Yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's going on with that? And see, e, even with that commercial, bro, it's like there's, there's that we love you for that. <laughs> you know, when my agent, Gloria uh, Inahosa, when she called me and said, uh, you know what? We have a Super Bowl commercial. And that's like the holy grail for an actor. Yeah. More people watch a Super Bowl than the Oscars. Right? Yeah, man. And, see, we have a more, Super and more Bowl people commercial. watch for the some, commercials. For the commercial. yeah, it's it. halftime and commercials, too. And she says, we have a commercial on the Oscars. Are you kidding? Yeah. She says, One problem. I said, what's that? She says, you're going to be Marsha Brady. And I said, what? And then she said, the amount of the check. And I yeah. said... Oh, Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Yeah, hell yeah. You, you like, you sure they want me to throw uh, Cindy and Jan in there too? I'm like, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so, you you so, see the check it like, man, when, you know. When, uh, when Steve Buscemi, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, said he was in it too, so I said, oh, that's going to be cool. So yeah. it was awesome. And so I've gone from Machete to Marshall Brady yes. to Making Trejo's taco. Danny Trejo, you could have got into business. You could have not lent your name, but you could have jumped in with with anything under the sun. Why Trejo's tacos, bro? You you know what, big boy? This, my, and this is delicious. I ain't gonna even front. <laughs> I'm sitting here eating this right now, man. This, <laughs> Jesus my mama, Christ. my mom always had a dream of opening up a restaurant, and yes, she was sir. a great cook. I'm just unbelievable, right? You want to cook? You know, she started cooking my dad's dinner at two o'clock. In the afternoon, and he'd come home at six from work. But, but every time she would start talking about a restaurant, she came from that era where you know the man went to work, the the woman mm. stayed home, cooked, and cleaned house. And mm. so she started talking about a restaurant. My dad, well, let's, let's for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cut her off. You know? There's a kitchen here. <laughs> I, so dinner uh, not even ready for me. You want to cook <laughs> for a whole restaurant of people? And so then you know when when. Uh, when I I did Badass, a movie called mm -hmm. Badass with Ash and and uh, and the producer and, and uh, uh, it was just you know it was d directed by by a, a guy named uh, Craig. God, he's a good friend of mine. I just mm -hmm. forgot his last name. But yeah, he's was, such a good friend. You don't even yeah, remember I don't his last, last name. You man. know Craig, and, man. And uh, <laughs> and so we did this um, movie and and 
Ash is a foodie too. He's like likes food. I mm-hmm. love food. You know, if it, if I didn't work out, I'd be five hundred pounds. I mean, Man, I you know what I was five hundred pounds. I know. Well, I didn't work out either. Though, so <laughs> no, you know, and, and I mean, I would just go crazy, right? So. We started talking, and then one day he just said, why don't you open a restaurant? And just jokingly, I said, Trejo Tacos. Hello. And then we did Badass 2. Badass 3, he came with a, what do you call it when you have like a- Like a, a, board, like a menu board? Yeah, like, like, hey, look, like, here's <laughs> a, a, a plan. <laughs> he took that around with a like, man. Yeah. plan. I thought, wow, well, you know what? Let's figure out. Let's. Do. So I got you know, my people talk to his people, and all of a sudden- we got Trejo's Taco on La Brea. Hey, man, and everybody's talking about yeah. it, though, bro. And, yeah, and, and, bro, and like, this is your spot, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and we were even just walking in just speaking about the menu. Yeah. And, like, there's so many different options on the menu for those that do want to go a what? little crazy. Well, you know what? But the thing is, is, like, especially the entertainment field, when you got five or six people going out to dinner after a show, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, well, you know what? I don't eat meat or I'm vegan. or mm-hmm. I'm ble-. So we tried to please everybody. And Ooh. it was like. We did it. It's like everybody there has been really, really happy. I've gone right now. Right now, I am the spicy taco ambassador for Los Angeles. Go ahead, I now. am the, and nothing goes with a spicy taco like a glass of milk. Because uh-huh. I got that glass of milk. That, right. Got milk? <laughs> hey, man, got now, milk. what do we get on the menu? What's, yeah, what's, what's some of the items, man? Or do you want to bring Chef up to speak yeah, on it? You what's know what? Uh, Ram, Ram's this. Yeah. We have, I mean, it's delicious. It's he said, delicious. he said, this is the chef. He said, don't call Ram's. Don't call, he said, don't call him, him, don't, don't call him a cook. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, my chef was written after him. You know what I'm saying? So so what are some some of the signature items if I walk into Trey, not if, when I walk into Trey Hill's Tacos? When you walk in, when you start looking at the menu, some of the signature dishes that we have is our tofu taco. Yes, sir. You know, for our vegan option. Yeah, man. For those and a lot of people go go that route. Like, my, my spot, we had to have vegan and paleo, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, they, they try to watch they, what they Without eat, right? losing the flavor, though. Just yeah. take it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they gave me a vegan taco. I mean, they gave me a taco. I said, here, try this, Danny. And I ate it. Listen, what is this? This tofu. I, Oh, don't, okay, don't tell nobody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <he's delicious>. right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then uh, the other ones that we have are our chicken tacos. That's mm-hmm. actually like a lettuce wrap. Jesus and Christ. it's deep fried. Oh, and we also have our brisket. You know I love some fried chicken. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, it's oh, good. You know I love some fried mm-hmm. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be addicted once you have this one. Yeah, that, that's our, one of our So what do we have here? What, what What's this shrimp one right here? I brought some... Uh, uh, Mexican Baja shrimp, tostada. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's seasoned so well, too, oh, yeah. bro. Yeah, are gotta, you a married man? Huh? Yes. Oh, okay, I was gonna leave my wife for you. I don't know. Where, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's seasoned extremely well, bro. Yeah. And you cook your ass off, and you look like you like 11, 12 years old. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I'm 37. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I'm good. He's he been in the kitchen doing it though, bro. Yeah. Now, now, how do you and Danny Trejo meet? Um, well, we just uh, went for interviews, and that's Ooh. it. We don't. We, this is our first time. Really though, uh, with the team. Yeah. That's crazy. That's a crazy team, too. So, man. Danny Trejo, did we, you we, find we, someone, like, you can eat chef's food. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? You know how yeah. you grow up and yeah. it's like yeah. everything is kind of compared to your yeah. mom's yeah. Yes. plates and, yes. you know, what's on your palate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is my mom's cooking, but without the lard. Uh-huh. <laughs> without that, I don't know if you... Hey, well, dude, yeah, you yeah. grew up the same oh, way. Yeah. I, like, Put a little more yeah. lard in it. A yeah, little more lard. Like, and, <laughs> everything fried in lard. Like, good Lord. <laughs> And so it's hard to find some good Mexican food that is real healthy. You know, I mean, there's delicious Mexican food. Don't get me wrong, right? But you know, whoa, it's like it's you're definitely gonna walk out of there feeling like you know you got two pounds of, of food in you, right? And and what's good about this is like you're, you know, you're you don't have that. Oh, right, right, yeah. right, right. Had to have feeling. a restaurant with yeah. a recliner in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I was thinking about opening up this. Uh, I got this tamale spot. Ooh. That I was yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. We're just trying to perfect it right now, man. But it's called Chinga Tamales. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> tamale with two eggs on top. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Dust the ground. Yard. Now, where, where, where exactly is Trejo Tacos? Right on La Brea between Pico and Olympic. Man, you can't beat that. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, the corner of. 
Brea and Sycamore. Like right at right. the corner. You yeah, right at the it. corner. He's got a big picture of me. I, mm-hmm. sorry, I just said, uh, you got to do that. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how, how do you call it Trails Taco and put a picture of Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> you know well, what I'm saying? Would, yeah. <laughs> right? I got, or Marsha Brady. I got a picture of Michelle Rodriguez you know what in I'm my saying? wallet. But now, do, do you frequent the spot sometimes? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. I'm there all the time. I go, I go all the time. You know? That's what? crazy, man. You're going to have to back off of that, too, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you don't want people to think every time they go buy a taco, you're there. <laughs> My man, Danny, not even here. I remember well, one time, dude, I was in, in, in Mexico with Vicente Fernandez, right? And you know how he, got, he has his restaurant right there outside his property. And so he was like, oh, well, let's go get something to eat. So we all go to his restaurant, and I guess he never pops up yeah. really at his – he can't. He's Vince, yeah. Vicente Fernandez. You know what I'm saying? So when we pull up, just people that's sitting there eating – can you imagine seeing Vicente Fernandez coming into Vicente Fernandez restaurant when you just think, I just yeah. want a meal here? Are, are, I would freak out. We, to, win, to Mexico, to, to, to the final show? You? Yeah, yeah, the final show. <laughs> you better watch out because she's trying to get over there. <laughs> I too. Trying to go. She probably going to take you up on that one. You know, but I would trip off being at Trey Hill's Tacos oh. and be like, man, this, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Like, it's like, like yeah, kind of people do, they go kind of. I just show up. What are you doing now? Yeah, you're like, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a restaurant. I don't, I don't have to pay. <laughs> it's Trails Tacos and I'm hungry. Once you find out he went out of business by October because he keep eating it. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Danny Trejo, we're in an election year. Mm. And boy. we got Trump looking like this Ugh. is this is about to happen, bro. Where 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 are you at politically? And just just, just kind of telling people like, man, well, get out there, register. I think. I think Trump, I know everybody's going to disagree with me and hate me, but I think Trump is probably the best thing to ever happen to the Democratic Party. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Very true. Very much so. Because mm-hmm. I got hope He's to die. That fire. Yeah. Honest to God, Reagan people, that people that love Republicans saying, hell no. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Not that. You know, like, run on, boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know what's scary about that, man, is when Trump first announced we were like, oh, man, that sounds crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we, we fast forward to these months now. It's like, dude, like people are believing this. Well, you know, you know, when people start playing on fear, mm-hmm. you know, on people's fear. The yes, people, man. All the people that are afraid are, are, are kind of are kind of going that way, you know, whatever they're afraid of. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And uh, and everybody, you know, it's like it's, 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 it's gone to a point to where now it's not even funny. It's like, wait a minute, man. This is a presidential debate. Yes, man. Nobody has said anything about about health care, about yeah, you know, the like, economy. Nothing. Yeah, the economy. All Jobs. We do, it almost looked like you watching a like a bag off, like like deaf comedy. All, all they doing now is like you almost playing the dozens. Yeah, you just yeah, talking exactly. mess now. Exactly. And it's it, it is like a like a like Comedy Central. Yeah, man. You know, yeah, who and, can come with the, the witty <laughs> snaps and and now wait, they had pictures of of one of Trump's wives. Yeah, or, or, man, or, like in a bikini yeah. or something like naked. <laughs> yes, I saw oh, that. no bikini to that. And then they were like, man, and then they, then there's another tweet. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to go after my wife because yeah. I expose yours. And it's like, wait a minute, man, you guys, this is gonna, you know, you guys are supposed to be. Gonna, gonna be the president yeah, of man. our country. Hey, dude, and the and world you play is watching. The dozens. Like, look at these idiots. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They might as well do a debate the next time, like, and start off with your mama so fat. You know what I'm saying? What's next for Danny Trejo, man? We know we got uh, Trejo's tacos. I did. Hey, what, what, what's happening uh, career wise? I did a little film. I love this little film. It was with Tony. Oh, I forgot his last name. A little director. You work with too many people. Young, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah. You know what? But no, but that's when you're successful low, when you can't remember. Low budget movie. His dad was so beautiful. Dad was security on the movie, mm. right? Oh, that's Ma- dope. Mama and cousins were were catering. You know I, I mean? love. I mean, he was. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love and, it. How'd you go? I'm his cousin. You know, like, <laughs> and so. So I think I was the budget. Right, 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 right. And and, and, and cut to the deal. Oh, well, kind of, man. Let's just do it. It's a passion project. (laughs) And so, uh, but it's called, uh, it's called Bride's Man. Mm -hmm. And it's about this guy that tries to get his his, uh, sister uh, some strippers for her bachelorette party. Oh, my gosh. Right? And she, she, he goes to like, you know, Chippendales or whatever, and it's a thousand dollars, you know, and so, yeah, he's. So he's going home and he drives by Home Depot. Oh, oh Lord. She's, she's eight Mexicans standing out no, there. Yes. Yeah. And he stops and he asks us, 
hey, you guys want to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, well, Are you one of the dancers? And then he said, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Wait. He says, can you can you guys be sexy? And we go, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and so, then he shows us the money. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm too so, sexy. So it's like, you know, the first time we get caught by the husband, by the the husband, and he didn't want no strippers, so he's a screams, well, I yell out, La Migra! And everybody right. runs, you know what I mean? And the next time we're actually like Stripping? in little costumes. Oh my God. Is mean, it available now? Well, or how no, do we I see think it? it's coming out. It's, oh, I don't know man. when it's coming out, but it's like, funny. I, I love doing it. I just, it was a passion project. I anyway. hear you. Yeah. Is it Tony Estrada? Tony is yeah, Tony Estrada. Is that him? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. 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 Hey, man, oh, oh, yeah. They didn't know where the oh, horse is coming like, from. Too. Like, it's like a young dude. Yeah. You know what? It's it's just just he went in his pocket. Like, what? Yeah. 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 Where did that come from? It was like a young now. dude, man. It was like, and it was just like, it was just so much fun doing it. And I love doing that anyway, man. You know, because everybody's well, there's not enough Latinos in. In 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 the business, well, make movies then. You right, know? right, right. And let's be, let's be in them. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's man. it. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, and that's just the way it is. You know, you want to win an Oscar, act better. It's right. like that's all. I just, I just, I get, I get upset sometimes at the, at the rhetoric. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not 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 the 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 rhetoric that goes around it. You know what I mean? And so, like this kid that just said, yeah. They, you know, it's hard getting in, so I just make my own movie. Right. Damn yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what we do. He he had to feel good that's nailing a Danny Trejo, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of those where you think, thinking, man, let's just try it. Like, yeah. he said yes. He said yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, you sure? Man, but, but that's great work, too, man, for you to even see that and not have a price tag on it and not, you know, yeah. I, my name is too big yeah. for this. And, no. and you never know, man. You pull up the next great champ. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, how somebody gave you an opportunity. My, mm -hmm. my son did this little movie. And the director was a kid named Frankie Latina out of out of Milwaukee. Mm. And I said, I gotta do that. I go away, in Milwaukee. Well, they're gonna pay me lunch. And he said, Dad, my son Gilbert, he goes, You might be missing the greatest director to ever come out of Milwaukee. Right. I go, so you wanna do the movie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna do it? Yeah. I heard that. It was called a uh, uh Modus operandi, Frankie Latina and Gilbert Trail. Hey, man, you know what I love about this, man, is that you're like, yeah, I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to start pitching on the movie, too. Like, yeah, man, it's about, uh, it's about these two guys. So, <laughs> Literally, though. Black, you, black guy, Mexican cat. Uh, Big boy, Danny Trail. You so, went? Uh, I guess he, did, so. he did that one. Then, then together, him and my son did one called uh, China Girl. I forget the name. It did another one, you know, so. Are you in that one too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about Machete Kills in Space? I know. Robert Rodriguez. Come on. Hurry yeah. up. Finish what? writing that sucker. So is he coming together? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to. I mean, it, it, he's so busy. Right now, we're busy with uh, From Dust to Dawn on oh, the L Ray Network. Yes, love that. man. I love that. Oh, God. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, I'm the regulator. I don't negotiate, I regulate. And so it's. Oh, my man, I would love to live next door to you. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, I'm pretty sure you have a nice house. I just want to live next door to you. You know what I'm saying? Big boy Big neighborhood, boy. Danny Trejo. Definitely yep. want to thank you for thank coming you. in here, bro. Thank and you. And come back again. Not just because Absolutely. you got Trejo's taco. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Boy. Man, I appreciate I you, brother. Like we say, man, we, we are a fan first. You know you what? Know? I, I got to tell you something. I, 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 I love you. And I got to tell you why. Mm -hmm. It's like I always see you at the Little old bogus car shows and stuff, and you always show up. Man. Gotta do I that, brother. Thank you. You got it. You and, got and, it. And you know what it is too, man. Like I can't talk to the neighborhood without going to the. You got it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, like and, and, and real walkie talkie, yeah. man. I've had success <laughs> with with people like they people that turn me on are the same people that can turn me off. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And when we do certain things, man, we sound approachable. And I always want to be approachable. Yeah, and I me. and I always want if I need to get gas yeah. and I'm on Figueroa, Vermont, whatever. Yeah, I, I can jump out. I got a pass to to, yeah. to jump out and get you that gas, it. man. You and and LA yeah. and the world has been taking care of us, man. And, and like I say, I admire the work that you do as well, brother. And from eight to eighty, people love you, bro, mm -hmm. across uh, the you. board, man. Yeah. And and character is what's being spoken about you when you're not in the room. And people say the greatest things about you, brother. And get your dogs neutered and spayed. See what I'm saying? <laughs> now now he's Bob Barker, ladies and gentlemen. The price is right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now he's doing the price is right. And don't forget, man, Trejo's tacos, bro. And I'm not just saying that because they're just delicious. Yeah. I'm saying that because I'm trying to get me one of those Trejo's cards. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I appreciate you, my brother. God and thank bless. you so much, man. And thank God bless you, you too. Thank Danny Trejo in the neighborhood, big boy's big neighborhood. Boy.